Hello there, it's I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another reaction. Today, I am reacting to the Prey slash Predator movie. Um, I love, well, <laughs> I love two of the Predator movies. I like one, and then the rest are just lit literally garbage. There's five in total if you include Alien vs. Predator. Uh, Predator, obviously, is amazing. Predator 2 is amazing. I will fight you. I will. I will fight you. It's great. It's cool. It's massively different from the first one in that it's not some muscle-bound, roided-out dude. And that's no disrespect to Arnie. Arnie's the legend. But it went wildly different with Danny Glover. Anyway, I'm just waffling. Um, so I'm excited for this. My expectations are low. Um, but it's a new Predator movie and it's a very, very different to what we've had. So I'm excited to it to what to watch it. Um, if you would like to see the full unedited reaction, it is one pound or one dollar. Uh, the link for the Patreon is down below. Um, in all honesty, I'm not even expecting this to get a thousand views, but I genuinely just want to get my reaction to this movie and have it on the interwebs forever. Um, so yeah, if you're here watching it, I appreciate it. I really do. Um, hopefully we'll have some fun with it. And yeah, let's just get in this now and have that fun. Just saying, I'm just saying it right now. If anything bad happens to that dog, I will not be impressed. If you bring an animal into a movie, like a pet animal, and, and it dies, I'm not your friend. I'm looking at you. I am legend. I can never watch that movie again. Got mad skills. Uh, the trailer, the first one, I don't think I watched the second one. A lot of people were hating on the movie, like, well, it's unrealistic because they don't have weapons to fight the Predator. But neither did Arnie. He used, like, a bow and arrow and traps. So this is exactly what she's going to be doing. But people were really upset about it, like, well, it's unrealistic, she's a girl. Like, it's an alien. It's a Predator. It's a movie. <laughs> No! The dog's already hurt! I'm not impressed. I remember watching the first Predator, and obviously as a kid, it was like recorded off the TV by my stepdad. And, um... <laughs> I had no clue, I just thought it was an action movie. And then obviously when the Predator turns around, I was like, what the actual F is happening? There's only other one other time where that has happened to me, and that's from Dusk Till Dawn. I remember when father told me I was ready for Like, Kekata, it was yeah. a heist gangster movie, you, huh? and then turned into vampires. I was like, what? You were little, so mother took you to gather medicine. But father and I went up into the hills. The rain was bad, everything was wet. We crawled through the mud, my bowstring got ruined and... <laughs> you were sleeping. I was nice shot, to dude. circle back. It's beautifully shot. Like, it's... A... Every scene so far has been really beautiful. Like, I've genuinely... Enjoyed the cinematography and everything so far. I mean, that's all one shot. And I mean, all she's done is walked, like, into shot, and then now she's walking out of shot. And it's just... It's just masterfully done. Especially with an animal as well. Like, usually animals just don't want to listen. Same with children. Yeah. 
Your father left you that to cut bread root with. I almost got a deer with it. We can't eat almost. <laughs> She's got a point. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. I mean, that's the thing. There must have been women who wanted to do what the men do. Do you know what I mean? All right. I was going to say, did it just fly off? But it's just been dropped off. Nice. I'm excited to see what the predator looks like properly. That was genuinely tense. That was genuinely tense. I was like, oh my god, is the predator gonna start fighting now? Who invited you? That that was good. We won't be gone long enough to need a cook. It's like the 1700s version of her. Whoa, make us a sandwich. <laughs> Oh, that was good. That that was really, really good. I like that it was like the prey. The ant was eaten by the rat, the rat was eaten by a spider, and then the, the spider snake, and the snake was killed by the predator because it was bigger prey. And it went to attack the predator. I think that was really smart. That was that was that's my favorite scene so far. Oh, holy shit. That got me good. That got me real good. <laughs> the lion don't think that we're hunting in here. It'll think it's hunting us. I won't bait it. Then I'll lead the cat to you. Wait. It's time, Nadu. So this is where she proves that she's going to be a capable comes, hunter as well. You tell that thing. This is as far as you go. No more. This is it. I mean, so far this film has been really tense and not much has really happened. But I can feel the tension, like it's slowly building up to obviously the reveal of the predator and then the the, the fight and, and what have you. But it's doing a really good job so far of making things really, really tense, and I'm I'm loving that. I mean, even with the first predator, I don't think I felt as tense as this, if that makes sense. It was more like gung ho action, and I was like, yeah, this is amazing. Whereas this is a slow build. You're getting all the characters, and it's actually really, really done well. Think you're ready? You've never faced a lion. Its mouth full of teeth like arrows. Ready to tear your flesh and crush your bones. When your brother comes back, he and I will find a lion and kill him. Whoa! Holy shit! You talk a big game, mate, but um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're dead. <laughs> she got it, right? I'm pretty sure she got it. That scene, though, <laughs> where I just jumped at that dude. Holy crap, check my shorts for crying out loud. I, I'm glad I wear the brown pants. Check this tea. 
I thought Chad speared the lion. I may have been wrong, but that's the way it looked to me. So, if it's not dead, it's dying. Well, looks like problem solved. We didn't do it. I did. You tried it. You just... You couldn't bring it home. So now even our brother isn't going to believe in her. That's not going to be very helpful for her. But we we'll all know that it's going to happen. She's going to take on the predator, the ultimate, the ultimate predator, yes, and kick its ass. So, I mean, it'd be a proper twist if she didn't, and the predator actually killed her. So, um, what's your favorite Predator movie and why? Stick it in the comments section. Or rank the Predator and Alien vs. Predator movies on top to bottom. I'd like to know your opinions. I'll, I'll post mine as well after this, of course. And I'm assuming if you're watching this reaction, you've seen the movie. So, you know, I'd like to know what you think. Oh, whoa! You never ever really saw this in any other Predator movie. Not that I can remember, but I'm fighting animals. And I think that's a really, really cool thing. Please don't kill bunnies! <laughs> I mean, I'm a hypocrite because I eat meat, but still, I just I don't like poor defenseless animals being killed on screen. I mean, I'm loving the dynamic between the, the girl and the dog. I've just got this sense of dread the whole time that something bad's going to happen to the dog and I just can't handle it. I will genuinely be an emotional wreck if that dog dies. That is a really cool shot. That is, that is, that fucking hell, that was fantastic cinematography. That that just genuinely gave me goosebumps. I am all about that. That was so damn good. This is definitely the best directed Predator movie I've ever seen. Oh shit, a ball broke. Holy shit. Oh shit, you actually see the predator fight the bear. Wow, that was insane. Oh shit, the predator's getting up. He just knocked the fucking the bear out. That was a cool shot, man. The blood dripping down the predator. It doesn't look like the predator's wearing a mask either. So she's had her suspicions confirmed about the, the predator now. She knows it's a real thing, so I think now it's gonna like build up to the, the big fight. I said stay together. I gotta go take the squad. You want me to do it here? So the predator's gonna kill man boobs over there. See your face. What do you think drove the possums our way? I mean, obviously, I know it's gonna happen, but I just kind of wait until they all get blasted in the face. <sighs> I mean, it sucks we didn't get to see it. I thought it was R rated. I would have been cool to see that, but I mean, he's dead, so that's a win. Oh, that is fucking cool, man. That is so damn cool. I love the style of the mask. It's like open at the bottom. That is badass, man. Oh, shit. Whoa, that is fucked up, man. That is so badass, though. Surely the predator's not going to kill her though, because the the hunt with honor. You 
You should be helping us. I think ah. this creature is a hunter. So they're trying to hunt the predator now. These these French people. The rat. <laughs> They're just all dying behind you. Wow. It's really, really well directed, I have to say, like. It's such a well directed film. That again is another amazing scene. That this thing can be killed. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Yeah. If it bleeds. We can kill it. There we go. He said it. He said the thing from the thing. <laughs> Naru. <laughs> Bro, come on. It's a net. His net's slightly better. Lads, lads, put it down. Walk away, okay? Oh, that was badass, man. That was epic. <laughs> well, uh, the predator didn't kill that guy, at least. You have medicine? Mate, you've got a foot missing. There's no medicine that's gonna fix that, mate. It's not gonna grow you a foot. Please. This isn't Resident Evil 7, you know. You're not just pouring special juice on it and it's gonna affix to the... <laughs> oh. Ah, so maybe she could use the berries to fight the predator. She can make our, our body cold. That That's obviously what's going to happen. Is this predator taller than the predator from the original movie? I think it is. You fucking kill that dog. Yes. Oh, wow. That's genuinely horrifying. That's the scariest predator I've ever seen. That is fucking cool, man. He's sticking the arrows in and pulling them back out. It's just that is, that is fucking badass. This film is amazing. This is it? No. Bring it home. Oh, shit. <gasps> fucking hell. Goosebumps, man. Got goosebumps. I, I genuinely didn't think he was going to die. I thought it was going to be them both fighting with it to the end. But obviously, that's not how a Predator movie works. It's always the 1v1 aspect of it, isn't it? Apart from Alien vs. Predator. But let's not discuss that. I mean, it's not a terrible movie. I mean, it is. But it's, I mean, it's got Predators and Aliens in it. So I give it a pass, sort of. Alien vs. Predator Requiem. You can't say anything. So I don't even know if that was a movie. Nice. That was pretty fucking badass. <gasps> Holy shit, just cut the predator's arm off? Nari, if you would like to help, but then not die. Holy fuck, I'm getting goosebumps, man. This is this is a movie. That's cool. I like that. It's like mirroring the scene with Arnie coming out of the um the water. This is as far as you go. No more. This is it. <laughs> oh man, that was fucking cool. I really like that. I mean, unless they fucking ruin it now by doing something stupid, 
This is a fucking A-star movie, man. This is the second best... Pre is it the second best... Pre I don't... I, I'd have to watch Predator again, but I don't know. I think this may be my favourite Predator movie. I'm just putting it out there right now. That's cool. I like the, the blood stripping down our face. The Predator's blood. That's that's cool imagery, man. This is really fucking well-made film. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm genuinely amazed. Well, um, yeah. I think that's it. There's 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 no end credit scenes. It's not a fucking Marvel movie, so yeah. My God, man. Um, ge I'm genuinely, genuinely shocked. I know the reviews were good, but. I still went in with low expectations, and it's blown me mind. The slow build was not boring. It was great. The set, the characters, I cared about the brother, I cared about the sister, and it was great. I mean, it did cut away a few times from the actual gore and stuff like that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's supposed to be an R-rated movie, but it's not overly gory, if that makes sense. But the kills that you do see were really cool and i'm i'm genuinely lost as to if this is my favorite predator movie and if you know me arnold schwarzenegger sylvester sloan and john claude van damme were like my go-to for for movies i loved and i lived those movies as a kid that's all i ever watched i never watched anything else no comedies or anything it was just all arnie sly and, and van damme movies and predator was up there and now I'm questioning whether this is a better movie because Predator was like this gung-ho action with cheesy one-liners and stuff that I still love. I only like throwing a knife in the guy's like stick around like fantastic but this was more it was way serious way more serious it was a horror film it had a horror film vibe to me anyway it built tension really really well and it was just directed masterfully and there was shots that genuinely give us goosebumps and I, I can't see that in the way i watched the first predator if that makes sense like i love that movie and i've i've seen it about 50 times I, and i love it that much but i think this is one of those movies that i think i could watch over and over and over again it was just masterfully done it was the guy who did 10 Cloverfield Lane. Again, which was a great movie. A great film. Got it. It was a great film. Um, uh, Dan Tra Trachtenberg, I think. Um, and, and just a marvellous job. I think... I genuinely, I am asking myself if it's my favourite film or not. Or not uh, of the Predator movies. Uh, I'll put in the comment section... Uh, later on the list and uh, but i'm genuinely gonna have to think about it but the 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 lead she was phenomenal i think she was really great um i like the brother as well and of course the dog i'm just so glad nothing bad happened to the dog because i would never be able to watch it again if the dog died and i did genuinely think that that it could happen but that's what's good about the movie it builds the tension and you think anything could happen like i genuinely didn't think like, well, I know the Predator's going to die. Like, in every other movie, I was like, well, yeah, the Predator's going to die. But this one, I, it, it might have killed her. Uh, I, you just didn't know because it did tension so well. And, yeah, I'm just... I'm in awe. I, for once, I've sat and watched a Predator movie that after the first two and maybe Predators and, and thoroughly enjoyed myself. Uh, because I love the Predator movie, much like the Terminator movies, one and two, phenomenal, amazing masterpieces of movies. And then with Predator was amazing. Predator two, I think was, I think is really good as well. And then Predators is a fine film. And then it's just all diminishing returns. And this has just blown, it's blown my mind. Let's just put it that way. Um, my favorite scenes have to be the bear. When the predator's got the bear over his, uh, like, holding the bear up over his head, and um, is it is it a he? I do, yeah, I, th I think the predator was a he, and um, like all the blood dripping down, like that was amazing. The um, the scene with the ant crawling up the the predator's leg, and then uh, the rat eating it, and then the snake eating the rat, and then the predator killing the rat. It's just 
Just amazing. We're never, we've never ever seen that in a Predator movie before. And I don't think we've ever seen a Predator kill animals like the way that the Predator did in this one. I mean, I know, I think there might have been in Predator 1. But in, oh no, it was a boar and it wasn't them. It was the it was the team that killed it. Um, but yeah, I, I just think that they did the Predator so well. It was creepy and it was used fantastically. And it was a slow build to a phenomenal end. And it just ended. Like, yeah, she killed it. Game over. It's like God of War. They get to the mountain. And that's it. Because that's what the goal was of that game. And that's what the goal was of this film. She wanted to prove that she was a capable hunter. And she did that. So it had no more story to tell. It was just done. And I think that was great. I really do think that was great. I'm Like I said, I'm going to have to think about it. I really am. Uh, but yeah... The use of silence was fantastic. Um, the, the score was great as well. The sound effects for the Predator. The, the noises that the Predator made. All all of it was done masterfully. The the gore. Like, the cutaway, I didn't expect that. I expected to see the gore. Um, which I say, would say is my one negative about it. Like, you didn't see certain scenes play out. Or if you did, they were, they were blurred. But I, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely not a PG-13 because, I mean, those people getting their legs cut off and stuff. Um, but I thought it would have been gorier than it was. But again, it's fine. Um, it's it's not a bad movie because of that. I mean, that was just what I expected to see. But just because I expect to see it doesn't mean that it, it's going to happen. Um, yeah, I love the dog. I love Nari, the dog. Just, n Nari? No, n the dog. The, the goodest boy. I love the dog. The main, the main lead, she was fantastic. She did an amazing job. I, I, is there any point in the sequel to this movie? I don't see that. Would I like another movie that has another main star with another Predator in a different time? Yes. I, I, like Vikings. I think that would be fucking cool as shit. Um, or like Feudal Japan, maybe. World War One. I. I mean, there's plenty of places that could go. And I mean, I, I had the idea of a Terminator movie being set like in Wild West times. And that's how they got the model for the um, T-800. And it was, like, because they went back in time to kill this person. And it was obviously Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, because you can't have a, t a Terminator movie without him. Even though they fucking all suck after two. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just rambling now. I, I love this movie. I think it was fantastic. And I cannot wait to watch it again. Um, yeah, 9.5 9 out of 10, I would say. And I'm genuinely question, questioning whether this is my favorite Predator movie. And that, I think, is a great thing because it's about damn time. It just goes to show that if you get one of these movies in the hands of the right person, they can do a fucking good job. So, listen, Hollywood, because I know you're watching. <laughs> Put your movie franchises or whatever in the hands of the right people, and you get phenomenal work done, and that's what this is, it's phenomenal, uh, thank you as ever for coming out to watch this reaction, um, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe, and again, the, um, Patreon is one pound for the full unedited reaction, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you all again soon for more reaction videos.